Joseph, so you said the plus a shown plus a so rest la même. So uh, in a way, you two are kind of on different sides of the uh, equation here. You're, you're, you basically are saying that um, uh, things are basically the same as under the Obama administration, well, aren't you? <clears throat> or maybe you want to flush that out a little. I think it's important to, 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 note, to note these continuities. Um, the, I mean, I'm not going to compare uh, Obama in terms of breach of etiquette mm. and nastiness with, with, uh, with Trump, but um, there, is, um, there is more similarity between them uh, than meets the eye. Three points. Um, Trump keeps threatening allies you, uh, to, to raise defense spending, and the threat is you pay up, or we move out. Now, that's exactly the line that Obama had in his um, interview with The Atlantic. He said, free riders aggravate me. That's Trumpian speak. And he meant the Europeans, we guys, we protect you and you don't do enough for yourself. Um, second point, recall that it was Obama who drew down troops in Europe to a rock bottom of some 30,000. Um, and so that's part of the general retrenchment. Recall third, that it was Obama, not just Trump, who tried to withdraw forces, American forces, from all over the world, uh, like Afghanistan, then you had to have a surge. But the instinct um, uh, is, is retrenchment, if not retraction. Um, and um, what is the impetus behind it? That's where more continuity comes in. Uh, one of the oft-repeated lines on the part of President Obama was, it's time for a little nation building at home. In other words, let's take those resources and invest them at home and in infrastructure, what have you. That's exactly the line that um, that Trump has been pursuing. It's uh, time for spending our wealth not on these wayward and sometimes disloyal allies, but on ourselves. Um, and um, so, so you're saying that it's not wait, the content. Wait, that's that's one more thing. Oh, okay. And now, if, now, if we shift forward, and that's to me the most interesting part of course, I think we are now in the middle, in a not in a three-year cycle, but in the eleven-year cycle. Let's call it retrenchment or retraction. Now, assume a Democrat will win the, the presidency. You'll get the same thing. You'll get protectionism at home. You'll get retraction from abroad and spending money at home. And remember, that is not a revolutionary thing in American foreign policy. Those of, if you think back some almost 50 years during the Vietnam War, and then I'll stop. What was the famous line with, uh, which McGovern used in his campaign? Come home, America. So that, I think, is the one line that unites Obama, Trump, the Democrat who might come in with it's the tradition that goes back 50 years to, to, uh, to McGovern. In short and in conclusion, we are in a cycle, in a new cycle of American foreign policy which is older than three, the three years of Trump. And so it's, it's, the content hasn't changed, but the, but the presentation has changed under Trump. The presentation? Yeah. Oh, the style, of course. Style is... Oh, okay. Look, I don't want to talk about the style. I mean, we, don't, we are familiar with Trump's style. I, I'm running out of adjectives right. to describe it. But right. he's uncouth. He's brutal. Uh, he's nasty. He treats allies worse than adversaries. Uh, should, we, should we go on? We don't need to, need, need to go on, but and I'll talk about it later when we get to it. Of course, what, Ob what he is doing, unlike Obama, that's very important, he is destroying the framework of American post-war policy. Hmm. And he's turning an old non-zero-sum game, meaning all of us can win, into a zero-sum game. Right. Where I will use my power, my superior power, to screw you and to my gains are your losses. Yeah. yeah.